Hello, in this new video about the free CAD electromagnetic workbench for Fast Henry, we'll see how the path object works. You will need a new git commit uh, for the workbench as Henry path support. So that's the commit you should be using or hybrid, of course. A path is actually any set of edges. It can be a sketch, it can be a wire or a curve. In this demo, we'll build a spiral inductor as a secondary sample. So let's switch to the part workbench and find the, the uh, spiral primitive. Uh, so we can select spiral, and number rotation will change to four, and create the spiral. Yeah. Okay. So we have a nice spiral, and then we have to convert the spiral into something that's suitable for fast memory. So select the spiral, change to the electromagnetic workbench. And then here we have a new tool, which is the path. So with the spiral selected, let's click on path. And we see that we have now a path. Of course, this does not resemble a spiral. Uh, the real reason is that here uh, we have a discretization into three seconds only. So uh, row, the spiral is much longer. So we need to discretize the spiral into many more segments than three. So let's change this one into uh, for instance, uh, 20. Let's see what happens. Okay, so 20, okay, just uh, is a bit better. It's still not uh, as precise as, uh, as the real spiral, so we can increase maybe to 40. Let's see the results. Okay, so with 40, okay, that could be an approximation. So let's start working with this uh, discretized spiral. You, you may see that here, under the fast and with path, we have all the nodes that are composing the spiral. And you may also appreciate that the first node and the last node of the spiral stay the same if you change the discretization of node, uh, the first node and the last node. That's intended. So when we build something that connects to the end nodes, uh, whatever is the discretization, the two endpoints stay the same. Uh, okay, so let's now connect the spiral to something to create a port and uh, calculate the inductance. So we need the two endpoints to be close to each other because we could, uh, in principle, build a port between these two endpoints. But of course, uh, they won't, they won't close uh, the loop. Uh, so in, in the real arrangement, we have something which is maybe the return path along the home plane. In this case, we're just using a segment uh, and bring the port uh, in, in the same, more or less in the same position. So uh, let's select the node here and position a node over the other one. I'm just using SASNet parameters, so I can snap this node over the, the other one, the spiral one. Okay, and then I have the second node over the, the second end point here. Okay. Uh, okay, it's not stepping very precisely. That's not an issue because we can correct actually manually the position. And then we also want the node to be positioned uh, below, okay, it's not one micron, it's one millimeter. Okay, so we have the node just below this one, and for the other node, the same. The node 41 will also be the same, so position to minus one. Okay, so we need two nodes. And then we have to create segments. Okay, so let's select the two nodes here and create a segment, just as usual. Create another segment, so we finish the path. Now we can create a port. Select the two nodes here and the ends. One and two. Okay, we can create the port. So everything is set. If we also add the, the solver object. Okay, in the solver object, you may notice that now we have a folder that contains the path where we we'll store the file name and the output file name and the file name. In general settings, we may also add some discretization, so we will see the change in frequency of the frequency of the inductor. So let's say 5 and 5. So there's a minimum discretization over the segments. Okay, and now we can export the file here. Okay, so the, the, we have exported the file. If we click uh, twice on the export file, you will see that the uh, FreeCAD prompts us because uh, the file name already exists in the folder, and so we can decide if we want to overwrite or not. So in this case, we can overwrite. If you open the same file in fast mono, 
let's see that we have the same object. Okay. That it's got the same object. Let's now launch the fast angle simulation of uh, these uh, of these structures. So you see the number of filaments is 1,000. Number of filaments after multiple time is 2,000. Let's see now the simulation will proceed accordingly. So while the simulation runs, we can get back to uh, FreeCAD. We can also save our model. Okay, so we can save the model here. Let's save uh, high route. Okay, so we save our model. And we can reuse it or change it afterwards. You may notice now that uh, if you want a, a finer discretization of the spara, you can still change it here. I reset. So let's say we want 16 instead of 40. So we change to 60. And since the endpoints are staying the same, you see that discretization has changed, but we, there's no need for us to, to change where the segments connect to the endpoints. Of course, if you use any intermediate endpoint uh, or any intermediate point uh, that uh, could change a bit because, of course, the points will move and some other points have been, some other nodes has been added to this part. Uh, but if you use a path for connecting to other segments, that's not. Uh, this one either. Okay, let's now see our fast angle simulation and we see with the results. So we have 90 nanohenry and that's going to decrease as expected while the frequency is increased. Okay, and so the simulation works. Thank you very much for seeing this video and see you soon for other demos.